This is the Chartist pole. This is a simple pole that you could extrude up to 20 feet or so and hand hold or put on a tripod. Um, opens up a whole new world of seeing, not a drone, but towards the drone. Uh, within the first 20 feet of your life, when you're standing on the ground, all kinds of new angles become very accessible with a device like this. My name is Rodney Charters and uh, I'm a New Zealander who went abroad early and have had a career in cinematography. Um, particularly the last few years, the series 24 and a number of uh, different television shows in the States culminating in me being awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award by the American Society of Cinematographers. The, the Charters pole is a multi-purpose pole. It's not only built for cameras, um, you obviously can take up microphones and boom with it, but also um, LED light systems, lightweight lights. The poles that I had tried initially were built for sound men to take microphone booms and to do good sound work uh, just out of the frame. Uh, they're generally built of carbon fiber, but they're also very expensive and they don't lock in quite the same way and I felt this kind of a lock um, was easier to deal with. Uh, you have adjustment instantly on the amount of tension you apply to it. It's um, a clamp that just closes and forces constriction so that it doesn't move. And you can just simply take the tension up and get it to a point where you just feel it close and it's, uh, it's very easily raised and lowered and then locked again. Um, this is the probably the best design type of latch for a carbon fiber pole. And it's uh, generally just a lot easier to advance and retract uh, and enable you to position it. Right, right out of the box, just taking it all the way straight up in the air and propping it up in the middle of a tripod uh, suddenly opens up a whole new world. A pole like this does have its safety issues. And one of the first, of course, is that you don't extend the pole anywhere near electrical lines because you'll electrocute yourself, it's pretty simple. You should be very aware that it weighs something and that if it falls it could, it could hurt somebody. So being uh, not too adventurous about how you uh, extrude the pole, uh, where you do so. You can take still cameras up this camera, for instance, will shoot stills, but you can get uh, Sony cameras, uh, Panasonic cameras, any of the point and shoots can go up and you can adjust the position even without a gimbal, uh, just with a right angle ball mount uh, on the top, uh, preset and then stick it up there and uh, fire away. Almost all of the modern cameras have a way of being triggered from a phone these days, a Wi-Fi controller and in some cases you're able to see the image as they actually take it. The simplest shot is a high angle which uh, dips down in amongst a group of people very, very close to the camera because the, the size of this allows you to be uh, physically, you can pass by someone right here and it, it's, it's a whole new way of seeing because generally our camera systems are so large that we couldn't get that close to humans. Um, we did try it out on a show that I was on and we found that we really wanted to have that around as a, as a tool. Um, generally we would use a technocrane, but you'd be at least a 20 to 30 foot technocrane and the cost of that is in the thousands of dollars a day and it needs a team and the thing weighs seven or eight hundred pounds. Uh, the fact that you can do this with a pole that weighs about 10 pounds is uh, very attractive and it'll go up 20 to 25 feet depending on the length you should select. Um, and at that height, the world becomes quite different, especially with the wide angle lenses that are inherent in these small gimbal cameras. Anybody who's doing documentary work uh, arrives at a location and wants a variety of shots to, for B-roll. You want to paint a good picture of the type of person that you're interviewing, their environment, their world, and show people where uh, where this particular story takes place. So a high angle is almost essential and you usually struggle to get up to a high elevation to find these kinds of shots. It's just very easy to get your pole 
extend it all the way up and, and get a series of shots.